Fortune Yu Yu match against Thomas Mann. Let's go. He's going to lead off with the Harry Element, and I've got my Scarfed Blastoise lead. I've seen Scarfed Blastoise done before, but I thought it was really uncommon, and it would be really, really fun to use, because it's very unexpected. I don't want to take a Fake Out Hover and get my Water Spout uh, weakened, so I'm going to go to this guy, Spiritoon, because uh, he's pretty good at taking all kinds of hits, and he's all kinds of annoying, being that he has no weaknesses and pretty high defenses. So I'm going to go for Hypnosis first turn, just to get something to sleep. Uh, it's going to miss, however, so that's kind of unfortunate, but not a huge deal in the end. Uh, he actually goes for Toxic. I've never seen Toxic on an Arcanine, but that's just the kind of player Hum is. Uh, he takes after Makar, and Makar stally, so he's super stally. Uh, thankfully, my second Hypnosis hits. Uh, so now I've got a few options. I could Confuse Ray, because that would be awesome to get whatever comes in. Uh, or I could just go into Claydol and start setting up, because that's what I want to do. Uh, setting up as in setting, laying my Stealth Rocks. Like, that's <laughs> that's really all he's there to do. Uh, however, he goes into Steelix, and I'm thinking, well, that's going to be annoying to take out, so I may as well get a fairly powerful hit off on it right now. Uh, I get I land that Earth Power as he sets up his Rocks. So I could, I'm, again, faced with an option. Do I want to spin away uh, his Rocks, or do I want to set up my own? I haven't seen a Ghost, so I don't know if he's going to have one. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for my own rocks just to be safe, and him going into Gardevoir tells me officially that he doesn't have a ghost. Uh, so I'm going to go for my spin right now as he misses a Will-O-Wisp. Did not matter in the slightest, uh, as you'll come to see. I actually have a Heal Bell uh, Altaria on this team, which is what I go to right now because it is Natural Cure, and I was expecting him to go for Burn again. Uh, however, he sets up a Wish this time, and I know he's just going to pass it right back into Steelix, so... Uh, I, I don't really care because, you know, I got one hit off on it and I, I should be able to one hit KO it with uh, Blaziken regardless, so I'm not really too concerned. I just heal Bell off the Toxic on Spiritomb. Uh, now I'm going to go to Blastoise expecting him to just set up his rocks again, but he goes for Stone Edge and gets a crit, so... Uh, even though it was a crit, it still didn't end up doing that much, but it, I still would have rather not had a crit. And because I haven't seen much of his team, I'm going to go for Surf, because everything I've seen takes neutral damage. And of course, in comes a Resist. And, oh wow, I got a crit of my own. I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I crit a Sceptile, and I'm expecting a Grass move, so I'm going to go to this guy. And he Focus Blasted, which I don't know what he was predicting. Uh, I, don't, I, haven't gone, I haven't had any fighting weeks yet, so I'm not really sure what he was thinking there. And uh, because he has Arcanine still asleep, I'm going to go for Confuse Ray this turn just to see whatever he wants to bring in, and it is Steelix. So now I have a 50% chance switching out to do for him to do nothing, uh, unless he wants to switch, of course. So I'm going to go to Blastoise again, hoping he'll miss a Stone Edge, or maybe he won't go for it, and he actually roars me out, so that's like that's fine, I guess. Uh, he roars me into Claydol. His rocks still aren't up, or I, sp I span them away, so I have nothing better to do other than Earth Power, and that's what I'm going to go for. Uh, it does about... Uh, just a little bit less than 50% again, and I get a spec D drop. Oh, he snaps out of confusion right away. That was useful. Didn't even get confused. Ugh. And he lays his rocks up again. So now, um, he did get that spec D drop, so I'm expecting him to switch. So I should probably wrap it spin right here. I don't know if I do, and I do. Awesome. I know I can take one payback from this guy since it doesn't look like it's guts. Uh, clearly, it's not guts. So I'm keeping that in mind for later. I'm just going to go to Spear Tomb now, and hopefully, I can confuse it because. Uh, I don't really want him rushing around, and I don't think Confusion activates Guts. He gets a crit payback on me, so even after a crit, it's still did less than 200, so I know it should be fine, and Hariyama has massive HP, so I'm hoping he'll stay in and go for it again, and yes, he does. That's awesome. So I'm going to get my Pain Split off, uh, plus he went first this time, so it was actually a halved payback. <clears throat> I wish he, I kind of wish he did more so I could take more HP from him, but meh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just on the off chance that he isn't Thick Fat and he is Guts, just with lefties, I'm not going to... Well, I don't have Will-O-Wisp anyway, so I can't exactly burn him. I don't have Toxic. I can't really do anything. Uh, but I am at full HP after taking a crit payback, so that's pretty freaking sweet. In comes Arcanine. He just intimidates me, and I think I went for Confuser. I guess I did, because I was planning to switch out next turn anyway, and now I'm going to get a free switch with a little bit of damage on this Arcanine. However, it is going to burn a turn of sleep, so that could be crucial for later. He's going to switch out. He doesn't want to stick around against this Blastoise. Uh, I could go for Surf, and I think I actually do go for Surf. Yes, I do. Uh, even though Sceptile could have came in, but I think two Surfs would have killed it anyway, and I, I think at this point he's cluing into the fact that I'm offensive and Scarfed. So, uh, Gardevoirs typically carry uh, Status Move and, and T-Bolt along with Wish and Protect, so 
Uh, they usually, yeah, they don't usually go for stab quite often. So I'm gonna go to Blaze again now because I have to kill this thing. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose the game. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go right for an overheat, I believe. No, I went for superpower. Why did I do that? Uh, I guess I was predicting a switch, and his septile was dead anyway. He really should have protected there just to wish, <laughs> just to get HP back on something rather than waste the wish. But that's not what he decided to do. I'm at minus one attack now, and I think my coverage move is T punch, so. I'm going to be able to kill the Slowbro eventually, but not right now. Uh, he's still going for Toxics, even though uh, he has seen Heal Bell. Um, I guess that's really his main source of damage, so uh, he's kind of got to do something. <clears throat> so I'm going to go for Confuse Ray, expecting him to switch, but he stays in. So, you know, with own tempo, that's not really going to work. Uh, he surfs me, he doesn't really do a lot. And actually, he gets a crit, that does a lot. Okay, that sucks. Um, and here, I could potentially stay in a Pain Split, but the Toxic is starting to rack up, so it's really a toss-up whether he'll expect me to stay in or not. I do end up staying in and go for Pain Split, <clears throat> get my HP back. He's going to hit me with another Surf. It's not going to be a crit this time, and everything's going to be fine and dandy. I could start firing off Shadow Sneaks until I die because... Uh, eh, no, I couldn't really because he, he'll just slack off. So I think I'm, tr I'm trying to bait him into using Ice Beam so that I, I'll know if Altaria is safe or not because Alter Altaria can't exactly hurt it hurt him, but he can't exactly hurt me. No, I'm going to go to this guy. I'm going to go to Malk uh, as he surfs again. I don't. I guess he was just trying to make sure I was finished off, which makes sense, because he's like, <laughs> Spirit Tomb is just so annoying to kill. Uh, and here I'm going to reveal HP Grass. So, I think he was expecting some kind of water move again, but uh-uh, I'm going to go wreck it with HP Grass, and he just stays into Toxic Me pointlessly, because um, my Altaria is just going to be able to heal me off. At this point, I'm pretty much concluding that he doesn't have Ice Beam, otherwise... Uh, well, he has Toxic, Slack Off, I, uh, Surf, and maybe Ice Beam, it could be Calm Mind. I, I'm still trying to figure that out. But at this point, I'm going to gamble that it's not Ice Beam. So, he slacks off back to nearly full, and I've got two guys Toxic, so I'm definitely going to want to heal Bill's turn, and he doesn't have Ice Beam, it looks like. Even if he did have it, I probably could have lived one, just barely, but I think I would have lived. Uh, because this is mostly special. Uh, this Altaria is. So uh, I'm going to switch out of into this guy, right? I switched into Claydol expecting Roar or Stealth Rocks, and he roars me into Malk, which is perfect, which is the thing, one of the things I would have liked to be roared into, uh, the other being Blaziken. So I'm expecting him to switch to Gardevoir here, uh, which he does, and I, it works out perfectly because I'm going to be able to get a nice um, stab, super, or not super effective, but super powerful overheat off on this guy. He's going to protect for a little bit of lefties. I'm hoping I can kill. I'm going to get something with this overheat. Like, maybe Arcanine's Intimidate, so it's dead if it comes in. And it's asleep, so it's not really going to be able to do a lot. So I'm, I hit it with an overheat. It's super powerful. I got massive special attack investment, life orb, and it doesn't kill. I was... I was very surprised, to say the least. So he's just going to wish and protect, and I don't want to stick around for that in case he wants to T-bolt, but man, I've got to be able to cr break through this thing if I'm going to win. Like, this is... The, public enemy number one at the moment. So I'm expecting protect. I'm going to go to Absol uh, just because I can, and if he wants to T-bolt me, I'll just sucker punch him, or maybe have a Night Slash, who knows. Uh, he has no idea what kind of set I'm running, uh, but this is the most retarded set that you could possibly have on an Absol. It doesn't have Sword Stance. It has Sucker Punch, but that's its only attacking move. Uh, it has Substitute. <laughs> it is a sub Parish Song mean look Absol, and it sucks. It sucks so bad. So Right here I'm expecting a roar, so I'm just going to perish song because I have literally nothing else to do. Uh, and it'll force him to not stick around for too long if he decided to want to stick around. I don't know. <laughs> like, I, What else was I going to do? Set up another sub? I can't mean look him. A sucker Punch wouldn't do anything. And there's only 8 PP of that, so perish song was the move to go for. Uh, Gwen comes in, and I'm going to switch out into my clay doll. Uh, expecting a... St uh, not really sure what to expect. Maybe Stone Edge? I don't know. I... It, it missed, so it doesn't matter. Plus, he's like not very offensive, so I wouldn't expect it to do a lot anyway. Uh, Claydol is just going to fire off an Earth Power, and it hits the Slowbro. Not too powerful, really. It's you know it's a Claydol. It's really meant to hit uh, weak things. So uh, I, well, I, go, I don't have anything to spin away, and I don't have t to set my own rocks up, so what else was I going to do? Uh, he surfs. I, I, I knew I knew he's going to surf, so I went to Gwen like... <laughs> He, we've already established he doesn't have Ice Beam. He can Toxic me, but I've got Natural Cure and Heal Bell, so that would be very futile. Uh, this is pretty much just us dancing around, me trying to kill his freaking Gardevoir. Um, 
statusing it's going to be pointless because like like he just did he could potentially just trace i didn't really expect him to go into gardevoir right there otherwise i would have gone into blaze again i've just got to hit it with as many overheats as i can and hopefully like maybe i'll eventually work myself into blaze and <clears throat> maybe i'll get a crit or something like that would be ideal uh in the meantime i'm just firing off dragon pulses trying to trying to get it down as low as i can because this thing's i, I can't kill it like he's not going to attack absol so sucker punch is useless um uh, we've already established Blaziken can't kill it, and uh, that's really all I got. Like maybe Surf from Blastoise if he's in Torrent, but he's not quite in Torrent yet. So uh, things aren't looking too great. If I can't, like I can't kill this guy. So <coughs> uh, Gwen's done her job. I'm expecting to just wish again. So I'm gonna go to Spear Tomb um, to potentially confuse it and maybe stop it from getting up all these wishes. And he just burns me, so that pretty much means I can't Shadow Sneak it to death, because that was kind of my backup plan. I can wall this thing to all hell, but it, like, and it can't do anything, but it's just going to be so annoying to kill. So Pain Split fails, because he protects, and I'm not really sure where he wants to go. I'm expecting him to set up a Wish, because I can't really hurt him too much. Like Maybe I can confuse it, but if he's switching out anyway, then why does he really care? So I'm just going to go to this guy, um, Claydol, because... I really have nothing else to do. I'm kind of hoping he'll think I have Explosion, but then again, he has Protect, so that's kind of flawed as well. Uh, I, I fire off an Earth Power, hits the Hariyama not very well, because, like we've already said, this Claydol is weak. And here, here is a big turn in the game. I, I go for another Earth Power, because I know I can live one, and maybe I'll get a Spec D drop, and maybe I can 2-it KO it from where it is. And in fact, that's what it looks like I'd be able to do, even without a Spec D drop. So I'm expecting to live this Payback quite effectively, and then I'll be able to fire off another Earth Power, but he gets a doubled crit uh, Payback, so... And that was huge, because this Claydol completely walls his Gardevoir as long as it's not toxic and now I don't have it anymore, so... Um, that's massively, massively huge. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm forced to go to my... Altaria, because it's the only thing that can really take a hit from it, or uh, that really wants to take a hit from it. I don't want Blaziken coming in, taking Bullet Punch, and then uh, having less HP, less life orbs. So I'm just going to go for a Dragon Pulse, hoping to finish it off, but he actually switched out. So now I know I've got to keep pressure on him, otherwise he's just going to pass a Wish over there, and I can't have that. I can't have him keep healing up his, up his own guys, and that's not really great. So I made a huge kind of blunder. I went into Absol because I thought, well, he doesn't know my move set. He's only seen uh, Sucker Punch and Sub and Parish Song. He hasn't seen uh, Mean Look. So I'm thinking, I'm hoping he'll think that I have Psycho Cut. So I go for Sucker Punch. Doesn't work out. He gets the wish off and crap. I, kn I know I just messed that up because now I got really nothing to hit this Hariyama with and he, get, he just got 50% back for free. So, uh, this Absol isn't going to do a lot. I just decided to fire off a Suicide Sucker Punch, because I was expecting to die to close combat, honestly. But he went for Bullet Punch, which was a kind of questionable play. I don't know why he would have went for that. Maybe he was still expecting some kind of Psycho Cut, um, which I don't actually have. So, here I'm going to save the Absol, because I'm, I'm realizing he's going to be fairly important. I'm still expecting close combat. And uh, he went for Stone Edge, which actually turns out to miss, which is a fairly lucky for me. Uh, as you'll come to see, as it does a lot more than I expect later on. Uh, I go for a Dragon Pulse right now, uh, just to <laughs> hit him back down there again, because I just let him all the way back up. Uh, him going for Stone Edge tells me he doesn't have Ice Punch, which is pretty good. Uh, honestly, Ice Punch, I think I would have been okay with one, maybe not. I don't know. Like, that's pretty iffy. Uh, but Stone Edge does a ton more than I expect, so I'm just going to go for Roost, because it'll have the power of the Stone Edge, and... Uh, he's eventually going to miss one at some point, another one at some point, or he'll run out of them. So uh, I'm fully prepared to outstall him on that. But he actually went for payback, which kind of surprised me as well. So uh, at the the HP I'm at, I can still roost up. I can still stall him out of stone edges. Like his paybacks aren't doing that much. I'll be able to eventually live them all. But I decided no, that's not really worth it. I'm going to go to spear tomb. And here he actually switches it into his guard of art. Which had I predicted that, I would have gone to blaziken and then. Um, I would have knocked him down into low red again and forced him to wish to protect, and I think I... Eh, I, w I still wouldn't have eventually killed it, but it, I would have... Um, you know, I would have done quite a bit of damage to it, so... Here I wasn't expecting T-Bowl. I would have... I, I tried pain splitting just, just to get my HP back up a bit. Um, if I had a Shadow Sneaked, it wouldn't have done that much, so I'm not really too concerned. I was burned, after all. 
and in comes Blaziken. So uh, here I'm getting really, really frustrated because of all the crits he's gotten and all the hacks that I think he's gotten. So I'm kind of raging out in the chat. So I go for an overheat. He wishes up. So now he's going to protect. And uh, I decide to stay in here and go for superpower because I figure this is my only chance. If he doesn't protect and I switch out, I'm going to hate myself in the morning. So I stayed in and he actually doesn't protect. And I was stunned. I couldn't believe it. Um, if he protects, he wins. I can't kill him unless like Blaziken goes into Blaze and gets a crit. And like that's the only way I, I would have had to kill it. But he doesn't. He risks it, and that's that's game over right there. Like that's it. Uh, he he got a little bit too greedy. He thought I'd switch out, and uh, I didn't. So I'm gonna be able to HP grass his uh, slow bro to death, and then I'm gonna be able to switch out fodder my uh, my bleh, what's that called fodder my Absol because it's useless. And then I'll be able to come back in and sweep everything with Surf. It, I am in Torrent, although barely. And um, like that's that's it. That's <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was such a stally game. Like I was very annoyed because of all the wishing he was doing and the stalling, and the uh, the uh, the stalling and the uh, yeah. I was just kind of pissed. He bullet punches doesn't do enough. <clears throat> he would have needed like a double crit. And his only chance is if Arcanine wakes up, gets an extreme speed off. But I'm going to be able to Oko Steelix. I'm going to be able to Oko... Septile's already dead, I believe. And yeah, all he's got left is Arcanine. So unless he wakes up and E-speeds and then E-speeds everything. But I've still got Vacuum Wave on Blaziken. So even that's flawed for him. So good game, Hummus. Uh, sorry it didn't work out for you.